Okay, so then we've got the possibility of centering this. So this actually, it, since when you decide you're going to stretch it across the page, you are pretty much centering it. But let's say that we don't want to uh, do it that way. We want to make everything closer. And uh, so we'll just get rid of all of the custom button spacing. But we want to center our menu instead of having, well, let's look at the, the right menu alignment first. I mean, what's going to happen is obvious, but if we hit save here, you know, the menu is going to get smaller and it's going to go flush to the right. All right. So there it is off to the right now. In fact, let's make those menu buttons just a little bit smaller. Uh, menu height and width, let's make them 120. There we go. Okay. So our menu buttons are smaller and they're floated off to the right. Now what we want to do is float them center. Now in order to use the center menu alignment, you select center here, but then what you have to do is you have to specify the menu's width. If you specify the menu's width, then it'll automatically center. So this is one of the reasons why I created that layout guides thing for you. As you pick center the menu and then do that, and turn that on, refresh this. If we look at the width of this menu, it is about 840 pixels wide. So if we come down here to our overall menu width now and type in 840, now the menu will be centered. And you know, it might be a, a little bit smaller than that, uh, but, but probably not by much. I mean, this looks pretty good. And if you want more space here, well, let's get rid of the uh, layout guides. And then let's look at those menu margins and let's give yourself more space under the menu and take away that space over the menu. And hit save. Refresh. So you now have got more room down there, a little less room up there, and then this sits in place.